Alright, everybody, what's going on? It's your boy C4. Let's straighten my fucking mic out. Hey, yo. Um, so, yeah, the last episode you would have seen would have been the utter domination over the Florida Gators. Um, as I said after the bull, or er, a couple videos ago, I was going to do the second part of kind of the summary of this season. Uh, the video before, I kind of went over all the individual stats. Uh, one, no, nothing really more to uh, update aside from. Jimmy Gaines went from number six to number four on the on the solo tackle list. Very very impressive, and came too short of fucking tying the NCAA sack record with Shayon Green, which is pretty much this my favorite storyline of the season where I kind of added him taking steroids and all that stuff. Thought it added something pretty fun. I don't know if you guys liked it or not, but I thought that was pretty fun. But looking at my uh, team stats, holy defense, shitty offense. So we'll look at offense here. I am 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I have the 24th worst ranked offense in the entire NCAA. Uh, I really, really picked it up in the last four to five games. I started averaging like well into four or five touchdowns a game when I made the quarterback switch from Stephen Morris, who's pretty much a sack of shit, to uh, Ryan Williams. But yeah, not a great year for me whatsoever. Uh, yeah, 27.5 points per game is not going to get it done, and I'm going to need to severely improve that next season. I believe with Duke Johnson, he's going to only get better. He probably will be one of the favorites to win the Heisman. That's what that's going to be my goal next year. This year was kind of trying to get the sack record with Shayon Green. Next year, I'm going to for sure, for sure uh, have a run-heavy offense. and going to try to win that Heisman for Duke Johnson. But defensive side of the ball... Maybe, I'm not, I'm not a big, I didn't really look into all the in real life stats, but maybe the greatest defense NCAA has ever seen. Uh, averaging a full thousand yards less than the closest team to us, which is Western Kentucky. Uh, averaging, what am I for defensive? One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh in pass yards with a yell allowed, which is very, very tough uh, because my utter dominance in deep, look at that. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, guarantee that in real life, there's never been a more dominant team uh, at stopping the run. So that's something to pride this uh, first season through, is that I have the most dominant rushing uh, rushing defense ever seen in NCAA. Uh, average almost 70 points less than the number one, the second ranked team. Which is, holy shit, Western Kentucky did pretty fucking good for Western Kentucky. But there you go, 118 points total out. Most sacks in the... NCAA here with 51 sacks, closest Southern Miss. Uh, I would actually would have liked to pick up the fumbles recoveries. I didn't actually force fumble a lot of shit. Uh, interceptions not really there. Uh, where am I even ranked there? Let's see here, hold up. Ten interceptions. I mean, obviously can improve there too. I might want to, you know, kind of balance the sacks and the interceptions out. Take like take like five off the sacks and add five interceptions, and I'll be near the top in both categories. But utter. Fucking dominance in the defense side of the ball, uh, which I hope you guys like. I don't know if it was kind of made it easier for me to edit because I didn't produce a whole lot offensively, so I didn't have to record as much gameplay. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much that. And I said we'd quickly look at, um, let's just kind of see what everything's looking at here. The top 25 polls finished with Ohio State at number one, finished the season undefeated. Fucking Urban Meyer. UCLA at 2, Texas at 3, Miami bumped from 9 to 4 uh, after the Orange Bowl win. No team outside of uh, Ohio State went undefeated. It was kind of cool to see there. Who will not? We already saw the Heisman. It was um, Taj Boyd won it, which is, you know, that's pretty sick. Uh, what else we got here? Award winners. Let's quickly look at this. I'm going to try to keep this video around 5 6 minutes. Maxwell Ward, Taj Boyd, Walter Camp Ward, Taj Boyd. Bednarik, Shayon Green, my boy. Nagurski, Shayon Green, my boy. O'Brien, Taj Boyd. Uh, Walker goes to Carlos Hyde. Blitnikoff, Sammy Watkins. Uh, Mackey to Asa Watson, never heard of him. Outland, Jake Matthews, best. That's Bullcrap Central. Henderson comes, comes the second best O lineman. Fuck off. He did shit all, all year. Remington to Corey Lindsley. Left end, Shayon Green with the Lombardi. Best linebacker, Joshua Perry from Ohio State. Sophomore, what? Uh, Tracy Howard won the best defensive back. Uh, Marshall Morgan, kicker from Georgia, won the best kicker. And Nick Rose won the best punter. Um, 
What else can we do here? Oh, I said I was going to show my recruiting. I don't know if I can even look at it. Uh, did all right, I think, for the my first real go at this brand new recruiting system they have. Uh, I'm really hoping that I get a couple. I know, you know, you guys must know that when you know you simulate, you get like five or ten uh, just computer generated prospects. I'm really hoping I get some good ones in there because I did. I think I did all right, but I didn't get any like five star recruits or anything. I got uh, two star recruit Derek Justice, projected to be 61 over here. We'll go this way. Let's go to scouting. Gonna be a 61 overall QB. Uh, had to suck it up and get a punter. I got a gem here with. Uh, did you get to come to me? Am I still the favorite? Yeah, Lionel King here, a gem punter, uh, plus five will rate it. Pretty good, actually, for me. Uh, Greg Vane, I got him purely because of speed. He's not, he probably, you know, I'm going to drop him. He's not even going to come to my school. Uh, Melville Graham, 68 overall defensive tackle from Juco. I actually found going, looking after Juco players that their uh, overalls went up. I didn't find any Juco players who, when, after I scouted, their stats went down, which I guess is kind of, you know, they're already ranked pretty low, so you can only really go up. But I have a couple gems you'll see here. But yeah, 68 overall. He's just got to fill a hole. Uh, Jeremy Jones, six, uh, 66 plus six. Actually, found a pretty good player here. Uh, 90 speed. Sam Russell did not go up or down. I just need him to fill a running back void. I'm pretty sure I just wanted to get him because I was his number one choice for school. A second punter is uh, John Luke, 73 rated punter. Oof, man. What's this way? 72. He's a gem. I'm gonna read John Luke. Oh, he already came to my school. That's fucked. I got two fucking punters. Wasn't paying attention there. Uh, I got Jesse Lee here. Just a bullshit guy. 66. Uh, Josh Ward, another bullshit guy. Just got him to make my numbers. But here you go. Got this Juco uh, guard, John Downing. Gym player, plus five overall. Gonna be a beast. Really looking forward to getting him. And as well as this Kevin Robinson guy. He was a Juco, but look at that. For a safety, 6'5", six six 191. Even though he did go down one, an 81 overall rated Juco player. So you guys can always find talent from coming from junior college. This guy's going to be pretty sick. Uh, another really good steal was uh, Joey Henderson here. Gem player. Uh, plus five overall there. Kevin Blanco. He wanted to come here. And I got Ben Sanders. Yeah. Yeah, I did all right, I think. I'm not sure. Actually, where's this guy even going to play? Uh... He's gonna play. It looks like he's gonna play defensive end of some sort, or maybe outside linebacker. But I really, uh, you know, there's a. It's a lot of people are saying that the recruiting this season's too confusing. And there's too much, but I don't. I kind of disagree. I think the more in depth the recruiting is, the better experience you gotta get from the game. The more realistic experience. So I mean, if you guys want to leave a comment below how you guys have uh, been faring with the recruiting board and so on and so forth, or have any tips that you can drop to me, I haven't really looked around. That'd be pretty helpful. The only, thing, the only really tip I could share with you guys is look into the JUCO players. Uh, there's there are some hidden gems as you can see. I got three or four on my own personal recruiting board that turned out to be gems. So that being said, we're gonna wrap this one up. Season one of the revival of the U. Pretty successful aside from a horrendously shocking defeat to Duke. We would have finished one, but we did win the Orange Bowl. We did have 22 sacks with Shayon Green, and uh, we won a whole boatload of awards. So stay tuned for season two. Uh, as I'm speaking this, I have not uploaded anything, haven't been able to gain feedback from you guys as to what I should do for Season 2, but uh, have, keep keep on the comments, I read all of them, I take a lot of them to, uh, you know, I really think about each one of them and see if they're going to be like troll comments, or stuff that I actually can use to improve upon, but I will take what I've done this first season and make sure that the second season, which I'll be releasing, hopefully I'll be able to start it before the new Madden comes out, because... When Madden comes out, I'm going to kind of divide my playing time between NCAA and Madden. And I probably will keep it heavier towards Madden. But uh, I will for sure do another Season 2 of the U because I need to get another import class for Madden. But it's your boy C4 saying, Oh my God, I need a catchphrase. Peace out.